Hi, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. This is Arlene once again, and this is series number four, part four. Um, what I had done was cleaned up the face, as I asked you to do when we were offline. And what I went ahead and did was draw the the tree that you see here in the front um, and the arms out. And I'm going to show you how to do the arms. You use your finger as a measuring tool. And you place the pen, pencil wherever you need to put it and just draw one line up and down and you do all four sides front and back of each arm okay and after you do that you're going to measure how far you want that to be um, from the uh, bottom you're going to mark it then you're going to make a go up here and make a line first going across diagonal and you're going to run this in a little bit. This is going to go behind the tree, just like you see on this one here. Okay, we're not going to put the hands around it. We'll put it behind it like he's holding it behind there. Okay, so you're going to draw these, this line, the top lines first. Then do the bottom that it matches with the back. You're going to measure it again from the bottom of your, um, your Santa to the top. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, um, I drew the, um, what you're going to do is make two lines, about a third of the way up on the body, one on the bottom, one a little bit longer, and then you're going to go and make like a, a triangle at the top, and then you're going to go underneath a little bit, as you can see here, a little bit underneath here, and you're going to kind of bring that out and around. You can curve it if you want that's up to you and then meet the other line so you're going to go underneath that first triangle and come down and then underneath the second triangle and go to your corner okay, and that's how we get our tree. Now we're going to lose some of that because we're going to trim some of that off because it's, it's too blocky in the front so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knife and I'm just since it's already pre uh, made up there I'm going to uh, go ahead and um, uh, roll this out. But before we do the body, um, you know, we did all the measuring and stuff. Let's go back to the face. I forgot something there. I forgot to put our little um, beard in. So what we wanted to do was make a little half circle or a little quarter of a circle out, you know, around for where the beard and the face meet. Okay. I already pre-cut that. Let me put my glasses on here. And we're just going to cut that. I'm going to keep this up near the camera here so you can see that. We're just going to cut that out. I'm going to go back and make another. You're going to make a stop cut first and follow that all the way around. And then um, you're just going to cut that out like so. Okay, and then you're going to round that off from the top. All right. Same thing with the other side. I already did the stop cut, but I'll show you where the stop cut is again. Right there. And then you're going to go on the face itself and go go on the face itself and go down. Okay. And then you're going to turn around and you're going to trim off that edge. Okay. That's kind of where we're going to go with the face for now. We'll do the beard and all the stuff at the end. Let's go back down to the body. Once you have this all drawn up, we're not going to worry about the tassel. We'll do that later. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim some of the front off. That's okay if we lose some of the the tree. We're just going to make it a swoopy, like a curvature. Okay, that's about as much as we want to take off. And we're going to go back and we're going to put our lines back on so we know where we're at. All right. We can make that rounded a little bit. Make sure it's just a little bit even all the way around. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put these lines back in. Just like so. And the bottom one we're going to just kind of round that off a little bit. And we're going to put that second line across. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the the arms first. So we're going to go over here to the bottom of the arm. We're going to put a stop cut in. We're going to use a different knife. Put a stop cut in. Straight down. We're going to just cut it up. Take a little piece out and then get another knife. Don't like that knife. Let's go to a different knife. Okay. We're just from the corner. From the corner up like so. Alright. Alright, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to swoop it up from the corner. That's perfectly fine. Put another stop cut in. Just be careful, folks, when you do this stop cut because you put a lot of pressure on those knives. I never had a knife really <laughs> double on me, but I'm more afraid of you guys slipping it into your hand, so make sure you put, got your glove on. Okay, once we've got the two sides cut in, we're going to go to the back, and we're going to, I'm going to use this other knife. Uh, we're going to follow this all the way down, put another stop cut, and make that turn underneath. I'm going to swoop. Um, you can do the other side off camera. Alright, so when I come back, I'll have the back of this other one done. You're going to make a couple passes like that. Alright. It's very teeny tiny, folks. <laughs> it's a big difference compared to working with the big ones. Uh, not a lot to work with. Okay, this is really going to be challenging in here. What you're going to do is you're going to take this in and you're going to turn it just so we meet the tree there. Okay? You're going to go down and you're going to scoop that out. Alright, just like that. Now I'm going to make another pass, another stop cut. Like so. And do another cut. Alright. Now I want you to do this, what I did on this side, I want you to do on this side off camera. Okay, finish that up and then when we come back we'll do the tree. Okay, we'll see you in a bit.